Hello everyone, happy Halloween 2022. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope this video finds you and yours doing well. So, for those of you who know me, you know I'm a huge fan of mural art. And when it comes to mural art, in the Seattle area, there is one name that stands out, and that's a mural artist named Henry. And I have been a fan of mural artist Henry for years and years. And I came across his work in the weirdest place, in the weirdest way. I was working as a literature for film, film, film it clerk, call center person, the only literature fulfillment call center rep order taker processor in the United States and Canada for all of Kenworth Packard and Peterbilt trucks, them having outsourced their literature fulfillment, their marketing materials and custom truck manuals being built to another company. And I literally was the desk and I was be the one in charge of making sure when orders would come in, every custom truck manual, every truck custom, every manual custom, and no one can deliver a custom truck without that custom manual. So that was kind of important. And I handled all of marketing materials, printed publications, golf balls, jerseys, hats, all of that. I dealt with dealerships and uh, other people constantly in Canada and the United States. And uh, it was kind of intense to be the only one who did that and to take all these orders. So I was working this call center job uh, in this kind of industrial complex kind of area tucked away. And I was going down the street one day in pursuit of coffee. Everyone's going to laugh who knows me because I'm always matter any story can pretty much be what was I doing in pursuit of coffee or going from coffee. <laughs> um, but I was going down the street and I saw this sticker <laughs> on a pole and it just caught my eye. It was a wizard. It was a black and white sticker and I don't know what it was. I was like, that is amazing. I want it. <laughs> no, normally I wouldn't just take stuff off poles figuring maybe they're there to promote something or a band or whatever, but something about that image just drew me. I don't know what it was. And so I had my, my backpack laptop with me. I put that sticker right on my laptop and uh, I hoped I wasn't putting something that would represent something bad on it over the over the next couple of weeks I'm like I wonder what this symbol means but I had no idea I just liked it but then people would start coming up to me in coffee shops asking me about my love of Henry was I a fan too it is so amazing to see that sticker on your laptop in this coffee shop. And then I looked up and I found out Henry was a major well-known mural artist. And I'm like, how does he have stickers on random poles, like in places? And I hope he wouldn't get mad that I took this sticker down. I used that laptop for years when it uh, became damaged. I ended up getting a new used replacement uh, laptop, tried to move the sticker and it got damaged. And I was so upset. I'm like, I like the wizard on my laptop. I know it sounds really weird. <laughs> I just like that image. And I was upset that I didn't have it anymore for the new used laptop. And within a couple days, I'm not joking you, I came across another poll in another place stained darn sticker and I said you know what it's mine <laughs> I hope who I hope Henry is not going to get upset or whoever's putting stickers all over the place but it's mine now and I would figure out at times based on places I would go where people would tell me where his mural art would be and I enjoyed coming across his happy colorful whimsy murals during the COVID lockdown period, um, my laptop did an automatic update and I got stuck on the blue screen of death and that laptop had 
my Henry sticker on it. And I'm like, I need another Henry sticker. Heck, I need a poster. <laughs> I want the same image. I ended up coming across an original smaller Henry at a secondhand shop. And I was thrilled with it because it was so simple and so basic. And it was framed already. And I brought it home with me and I've had it in the house. And I'm like, you know what? I really want a, a print of that sticker thing I like to go with it. I really need that. And I found out that Henry had a website, but he had all his fancy images and stuff, but I didn't see any prints, plain affordable prints of that image, that specific image I liked. I found out that Henry was doing an art day in Seattle and I really wanted to go, but then I had to work. And that particular day, there was a lot of smoke and all that. And I wouldn't have been able to go for my health anyway. Um, but I was really sad I couldn't go. I ended up passing this poster place that had infused Henry's art in promotion of their business. And I walked in asking, do you have any Henry stuff? Do you have any stickers? Because I really wanted the wizard again. I know it sounds silly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But I really wanted another wizard sticker for my freaking laptop or a print. A print of just that. And the guy's like, I have t-shirts at the other place. Henry gave me permission to use his art. I've got his art above my other business. Don't worry, I'm not lifting his stuff. I know you Henry, Henry fans get a little intense about protecting Henry. We had a wonderful conversation about the YouTube channel series he'd done of healing art with Henry. He said that it wasn't going to be going forward anymore because it was expensive to produce. I told the guy, Henry doesn't need fancy production. I don't watch it for the fancy production or it being tightly put together. I just like him talking about the art he does and what he's doing and why or his thoughts. He said, well, it was really expensive to produce. I said, will you tell Henry? We don't need the fancy stuff. He said, why don't you go to his studio and tell him yourself? I'm like, I'm not a fancy person. You know, he's busy. He's got things to do. He makes art. I said, I'll stop by when you have some Henry stuff later when I probably have some more money and see what you got. He said, good. The other day, just yesterday, I went out to make, I was going to make a video. And then I realized I'd forgotten my headset to record with. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go get a backup headset and see what the secondhand store has. And I walked in, and the only viable headset they had was this weird one with lights. I guess it's a gamer headset. And I bought it. It was like 20 bucks on a price, half price. And while I was there, weird things just kept happening. Certain things I'd been looking for were there at a great price. Like I got so much done in what just one stop. <laughs> it was like it was just flowing. I don't know how to explain it. And I was in a really happy place. I literally even got a new used backpack that was just perfect. It was perfect, right? I got a coffee cup that was perfect. Perfect look, perfect feel, perfect everything. Um, and I was just in the zone and I was going down the street and then I saw a car. And the car had a Henry wrap on it. Now, I knew Henry paints um, cars. I've seen the images online. And then I saw Henry. I was like, whoa! And I said, you're Henry? He said, yeah. I said, I love your art. I see it all over. Thank you for making it. We got into a conversation about his video series and I told him, you don't need to produce. It was really weird. All the things I had told the manager of that other store, will you please tell Henry? I was able to tell him in person. And he said, hey, I want to give you a gift. Let me give you something. And he went into the back of the car and I'm like, I wondered what he was going to give me. And weird as shit, people. that sticker <laughs> the initial sticker that I found his art through so long ago he's made now into these types of 
durable prints. And he gave me one. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you have no idea. And I told him how I took two stickers with the exact design off two different poles and used to plop this on my older laptops that I had. And I was so thrilled. And um, he's like, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. He goes, I'm the one who puts those stickers on the poles. And I had emailed once his office and asked if he had any positive, whimsical, little affordable things um, for people to buy. And they, someone at his site had encouraged me to buy this. Um, and I didn't know if I wanted to buy like a new agey abundance deck thing. But I was curious about what the card images would look like. But because of my calling out Doreen Virtue for telling people to make their major life decisions on the flip of a deck, I was not going to make this purchase, though I was highly inclined to want to see what they look like and Henry handed me the deck and was like here <laughs> it was so weird um, and it was so nice to get to talk to him and tell him how much I loved his work and encourage him to do his series and that he didn't need to do it fancily polished with editing and then to have other people come down the street and they also were like oh my gosh it's Henry <laughs> it's Mr. Ballard Henry is, fills Seattle with whimsical, positive, happy pieces that help the mood of people around him. He has struggled with addiction. He has struggled with mental illness. He's kind to people he meets who are his fans, whether they're rich or famous, can afford his fancy art or not. He's just a nice person. It's so weird how leaving my normal headset at home deciding to go to that second hand store and saying you know what I'm just going to get a used headset have another extra headset in case the other ones break it might be a good idea anyway and because of following the feel when things didn't go quite as planned was how I ran into Henry himself I'd wanted to meet him, but I wasn't going to bother him and go to his studio. I'm not a fancy person with a lot of money. And I figured, you know, his studio time and his personal time is best spent with the individuals who can afford his art. It was so nice to meet him. I'm the weirdest fluke ever. So, once again, this is the image I used to take off poles. <laughs> I wanted a print so bad, this exact image, and I didn't see it online for sale. And I wanted specifically this image to go by my desk in my apartment where I would write. And now I have it. Ah! So everyone, follow your creativity, follow your intuition, follow your soul, stand for vulnerable people. And never forget, sometimes it's when things don't go quite as planned that amazing things happen.